This is so random, but I want to eat Kit Kat bites or Maltesers and a lot of takoyaki, like right now. I think I'm gonna go make some, I don't know. Let's go. I could be speaking way out of context when I say this because I'm gonna sound really vague in general, but do you ever just get that feeling where, you know, uh, it sucks, you know, because at the end of the day, we're all human in the sense that, in the sense that, you know, it's, there's, it's people who create the gaps among each other in the sense of a social class, um, race, gender, and all that jazz that it's cool to be unique, but at the end of the day, you know, we're all flesh and blood made up dying things you know we're all gonna die someday why don't we embrace humanity and instead of going against one another why don't we support each other because what good is life when we just want to destroy everything around us <sighs> i'm triggered uh... I just finished filming something secret for now until I'm allowed to, to announce to you but how do you pose for photos? I have no idea. I'm so awkward at this stuff. I'm gonna try anyway. <gasps> I was just um, setting up my bed and then I just came to the realization that nobody needs to ask what my favorite color is because all they had to do was look at the color of my clothes, my pillows, and my bed sheet. But if you had to guess, it's pink. Not. It's my friend Ati who likes pink. My favorite is navy blue. Navy blue, navy blue, navy blue! I'm quite sensitive with color in the sense that I don't like it when um, the colors are too flashy. Well, at least for me. Because I feel like I don't like to stand out in the sense. And it's I prefer easy on the eyes. So I go for very neutral colors like um, black, white, gray, brown tones, nude colors, and of course blue. Like all the pale colors. You know the, the old dress controversy where people saw either a white or gold white and gold or the black and blue dress? In my case I saw a white and gold dress but I still never got to know if the right answer was that or the other one. And today we have the Yanni or Laurel kind of controversy. I swear when I first heard that audio all I could do all I could hear was Yanni. But apparently, starting today, I started to just hear Laurel. No matter how many times or how many videos I've seen, it's just Laurel now. And apparently, the correct answer is Laurel. I don't know what happened to Yanni. Where's Yanni at? As someone who gets influenced um, easily by media in the sense, um, I can adapt to something quite fast. So when I hear a song, I don't want to sing it in my own style. I want to sing it in the exact same style of the singer or the artist to the point that I kind of imitate their voice as well. So I tend to get comments such as I sound like the singer or like why not sing it your way but I'm like I don't know what my way is because that's not my song. So I yeah I don't know it was just a random thought. Uh, huh. In other places, such as my country, the Philippines, um, local contests or competitions regarding singing tend to be quite um, strict or they prefer more distinct, uh, unique and original voices as opposed to people who can um, imitate or tend to sing in the style of a certain singer whereas apparently in Japan it is much more commended in the sense when 
certain people can sing in the style of uh, the singers' songs. They even have shows about it, which is, I guess, kind of my forte, which is, could be the reason why I'm not very confident in joining um, singing competitions, especially not in my country or any country for that matter, because uh, I might come off as someone who doesn't have any originality. Because what can I do? Um, the only way I can sing something my way is if a song is taught to me um, without any priming or um, any suggested voicing of the melody or the style of the song. Only then can I kind of um, tweak it using my own style. Yeah. I'm not as good as other people who can, you know, style songs as they like. So, I don't know. It's just a random thought. 44 and a half minutes to go. Uh, we're gonna start um, the Metro Manila South sponsor on the international evangelical mission on air and online it's gonna start its live stream on youtube and even though you know it's there's still like around three quarters of an hour to go we already have a lot of people who are on standby to watch the broadcast and it's amazing and i hope any, everyone gets to watch it i'll definitely li leave the link in the vlog um, as to where you can watch this actual footage of the live stream it's just fun because it's since it's a an online radio on a YouTube live stream you don't even have to watch it you can just listen to it you can be doing anything you want and you know just watch the or listen to the you know everything that's gonna happen in this live stream and I hope that you can pick up something from it yeah Blackbird flies into the light of a dark black night.